whom much is given, much is expected. But no one talks about the mental toll of expectation. Yeah, I hear you. I hear the chatter. He's not good enough. He's not worth it. Trade him. Nowadays, everyone wants to be a critic. But here you go. Let's take a walk in my shoes. For every failure, for every trial, for every negative comment, Hey guys, welcome to Laker Central. This video is all about the chatter surrounding Kyle Kuzma. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Lakers updates. So Kyle Kuzma returned to Twitter after he deleted his account by dropping this commercial for his new signature sneaker from Puma. After this, I found all the overanalyzing about Kuzma's off-court success and on-court a bit overboard. Lakers Twitter is literally all over the place regarding Kyle Kuzma. Some think he's the Lakers' ninth best player. Others think he should be starting. Again, all over the place. Here are some of the tweets that flew off after he posted this commercial on uh, Twitter. And I ran a poll asking what people thought of Kyle Kuzma's career after I saw all these different um, takes on Twitter. People saying he wasn't mature. People saying that he should be traded. People saying a lot of stuff, uh, and you can see my poll on the screen, but um, it's pretty even. I mean, people, they just value him differently. There was, there was not one, you know, one option that really jumped off the board when I ran this poll. And so I think it's important to start with um, where kind of all this stuff started, because I, I think that he can ultimately have a really successful career. But when you look back when he was drafted out of Utah, 27th pick by the Lakers. And I remember that night, um, probably like a lot of you guys, going over to YouTube and trying to find out who this guy was. Because we had the number two pick in that draft as well. It was Lonzo Ball. He obviously played at UCLA. All the focus was on Lonzo. And um, Kuz ended up being much better than anyone could have expected. His play at Summer League was great. I think he won uh, MVP there. And then he had a great rookie season. Sizer, he's looking to put that thing up. Well, smart able to switch that screen. So Kuzma taking advantage. Right the back to the Average 16 points. Shot just about 37% from three. And the expectations for him then went through the roof. I think people forgot that he was drafted at number 27. And because he had such a great rookie season, they start looking at him more like, well, maybe he should have been a lottery pick. So expectations increased. He improved his scoring to almost 19 a game in his sophomore season. And again, to get that kind of production out of a guy drafted at 27th really shows how great the Lakers are at finding gems later in the draft. But when Ku's production dropped this past season to about 12 points, a lot of his critics were beating their chest saying that we should have kept Brandon Ingram in the Anthony Davis trade. Uh, and I keep telling everybody. B.I. had to be included to make the math work, to make the money work. It's as simple as that. I don't believe the Lakers thought that Brandon Ingram was a better player than Kyle Kuzma, but the money was what it was, and it is what it is. As for Kuzma's development, you really got to look at the changes that he faced every year. So when he was first drafted, it was a young Lakers team coached by Luke Walton. They weren't expected to compete for anything. They were really just developing these young guys, and he had a green light, and he showed it. He averaged 16 a game. And then when LeBron showed up in Kuzma's second season, Kuzma became kind of a de facto second option because he averaged 19 points that year. The Lakers didn't have another guy that could really score. Brandon Ingram, of course, but it was probably Ingram or Kuzma as to who the real second option was. And then you come to the third year of his career and Anthony Davis shows up with all these veterans and the Lakers are truly ready to compete for a championship. 
And so the dynamic of the team has changed. His role has changed. And it's kind of like an NFL quarterback having to learn a different offense each year because the team keeps firing the head coach. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time, and it's going to impact his game. Kuzma has a lot of talent, and the reports out of Los Angeles have always been that he works hard and he really wants to improve. And he has improved. His defense is not nearly as bad as people say that it is. He's a much better defender than I think he's given credit for. His shot has struggled, um, but I think that that will come, come along like it did in his rookie and sophomore seasons. Uh, I, I also want to mention that he was the first young guy that really sought out Kobe Bryant. GM's kicking themselves over that one. Yeah, I, I, he's extremely articulate and uh, very inquisitive. And I think that's always, um, that's the best trait to have is curiosity because you want to know why things work. Right? You want to know why um, things happen, how things happen. And when you have that kind of curiosity, you're constantly seeking for ways to improve, you know, mentally, physically. And um, that's, the, that's the thing that jumped out at me the most. Yeah, he said Kobe had the big dog steak. Yeah. And, uh, we asked him if one day he's going to be on that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you just got to you keep playing well, continue to improve. Then, you know, next time we go out, he'll treat me. And he really went to pick Kobe's brain. There were pictures all over social media, him and Kobe meeting. Um, I think Kuz wants to be great, but it's a process. And I think some people see his off-the-court success with the sneaker, and he's dating models and all the fashion stuff. And they feel like he's maybe getting more attention than he's earned. But hey, he's a six, he has a 16-point career scoring average, and he is an NBA champion in Los Angeles. I mean... He's had a great career so far, especially when you consider a guy drafted 27th. If he had the same exact career for a guy drafted the top 10, I'd say it was still a good career. I think that he's going to play at least another 10 years. And to me, I think his ceiling is probably an all-star. That doesn't mean he's going to get there, but I think he could. One important thing to note is if he was on a different team or maybe on a younger team, he probably would have more opportunities and he might average like 20 points. You see this across the league with other players that just have more opportunity, as Kuz did when he first came into the NBA. I expect to see a much better version of Kyle Kuzma this, this year. He's likely to be a part of the Lakers' second unit. I don't think he starts, but that second unit will feature Trez, Montrez Harrell, and Dennis Schroeder. Six man and runner up for six man of this past season. The firepower that second unit will have with those two guys, plus Kuzma, I mean, it's going to be nuts. He might get less shots. But they should be easier, and he should be more open. He's, he's going to always play with at least two other offensive threats, whether that be LeBron and Anthony Davis or Schroeder and Trez or any combination of those four guys. He's always going to be on the floor with two other guys that can score a basket. And I, I really expect him to excel in that role. He doesn't need to average 20. He just needs to be more consistent offensively and improve defensively. He's capable of both, and I think that he'll prove a lot of the doubters wrong. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, hit the bell for notifications. This Lakers team is reloaded, and I think Kuzma will be a key piece in their efforts to repeat. Again, thanks for watching.